We're out here exploring the low tide pools for some amazing and potentially deadly sea creatures. Let's go. We call this guy right here a cleaner shrimp. Fish, corals, everything love him because what he does, he cruises around and he eats all the bacteria, all the things bothering him and basically keeps him clean. I've got my dog Strider and my brother Jacko on this mission with us. Let's not waste any more time. Let's check these tide pools. Strider's just found a starfish and an absolutely beautiful one too. There's my hand for reference. Wow, huge baler shell. Bit of a slug, look. Massive, I'm not gonna pick this guy up and disturb it, but that is a massive shell. As I was walking up to this little bit of live coral here, there's an anemone that wraps around it and I actually seen the most beautiful little clownfish. Look at this, he's so friendly. She lets me scoop him up. I can't believe I found Nemo and he is so friendly and so cute. It is super important not to touch these guys with dry hands because they have like a mucus over them which allows the anemone to take them in, otherwise they'll get stung too. <laughs> never seen an eel like this and it's acting very very strange. We found ourselves a toadfish. Oh he's not very- Ah oh, he bit me! <laughs> Fair enough. These guys are venomous but only really to other fish species. He was probably waiting there all night in ambush for something to come along in front of his mouth and he didn't think twice about it. He thought this little finger here was a prawn or a mollusk or some sort of crab and within a second boom! <laughs> Thanks for that, mate. I really appreciate that. Look how they swim. They're so fast and agile through all the weeds and all the corals and everything. Wow, look beautiful! There's hundreds of miles of empty coastline and thousands of tide pools for us to look for all different kinds of stuff. But we're checking three different amazing locations. This guy must have come in and he's hunting something. We've seen it splashing around. Check it out. He's trying to make it back to the pond. Give him a quick hand. Here you go, bud. Uh, there you go, mate. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, amazing. What a beautiful little shark. Oh, off he goes. Pretty sure he was actually stuck up on that drier end of the tide pond. And the tide was draining. It doesn't take very long for shark's gills to dry out. He's gonna be absolutely fine. See you later, mate. Look at the colors in him. He's super friendly too. Whoop, here he goes. Whoa, yep, huge slug, huge slug. Look at the size of this shell. Absolutely massive. I'll put it straight back. It is absolutely dead glassy this morning, which makes it a hell of a lot easier seeing the tide pools with a low light. A lagoon ray just tucked away in ambush there. He's using camouflage right now. He thinks that we can't see him. Yeah. Good luck, mate. Fish. It's all puffed up. What are you, what are you, what are you doing, mate? Oh, very cool. It's like half crayfish, half prawn. When walking through these tide pools, do your best to stick to the sand or the rock that doesn't have anything live growing on it. It's a Nemo! He's so friendly, he's swimming around. 
He does have a home nearby. We'll go put him back at his home. We'll get some water in here. I'll take him there. This is his home here. There's some anemones just under there. And they are actually so friendly. Look, here he goes back to his home. Look, <laughs> look at him, he's chilling. See, they're the anemones right there and he keeps coming in and out. A little tusk fish here. He's pretty high and dry where he is, but he's still getting it water through his gills, but any longer than this and he'll dry out. So I'll grab him and I'll give him a hand. They are very important for the reef. They go around and they're a grazer. <laughs> you one. That tide is rushing back in right now, so we will go again first light tomorrow, but we want to make the most of the high tide. Crystal clear waters, white sandy beaches, and a hell of a lot of Nemo's. See you guys there. Right behind me are two huge brain corals. But what you guys don't see from up there is in all the gaps and basically the whole internals of these brain corals are sea anemones, full of heaps of different little clownfish families. And I'm getting in there to do some investigating. Let's see if I can make some friends. Clownfish were getting really friendly with me. They're really cheeky and they come out, they look at ya, they dart back in. But I want to really test how friendly these little buggers are. I got these GoPros with weighted sinkers on the bottom, my old way made them for me. I'm gonna put them around the place, disappear for a bit, and see how inquisitive they actually are and if they interact with all these GoPros. Let's get in the drink and I'll see what happens. <laughs> There were so many clownfish down there. <sighs> I reckon that there's heaps of different families. They all seem to be in their little anemone and that's it. They don't really go too far. This is our last chance on the super dead low tides and we come to the last location. These beautiful open ocean tide ponds. Check them out. They're a bit more deeper, house a few bigger fish. sea turtle in a tiny little pond here. This is probably his home. He's very smart. There's no predators. No one can get him here. He's just chilling. Doesn't need rescue or anything like that. It's important to know that not all sea turtles, even if they're high and dry out in these tide ponds, they need rescuing. Sometimes they're here just for some rest, some chill time. And he is so, so cute. Hey buddy. Lovely to meet you. Have a good one, alright? I won't disturb you too much more. See ya. The big one's attacking the little one. Look at that. <laughs> I got my mask and I'm gonna hop in and I'm actually gonna swim around this time and I'm gonna look for things that are tucked away and hidden for cover. Getting in with this and with this and I'll bring you guys with us. Wow.
Woof. Whoa, it just about smacked me in the head. <laughs> oh, did you see that? Uh, no, it didn't come out. Oh, it didn't, I think it come across. It like come at me, almost hit me in the head and then shot it, it's big. Yeah, I don't know where that went. Don't think it's in here. Oh, <laughs> oh it, 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 <laughs> there it is. Oh, it smacked me in the ribs. <laughs> Fair enough too. Got me right in the ribs. <laughs> oh, that's a hurt. I get punched, man. This guy right here is a blue spot ribbon tail lagoon ray. And he's got himself trapped in this little tidal pond. He's obviously misread the tides. They do have venomous spines or a venomous barb at the back here, but they prefer not to use it. They're more timid. They'll flee as soon as they see humans. He is only a juvenile one. He's only tiny. He's got these wild eyes and these beautiful fluorescent blue spots that run down his body. The tide will return in a couple of hours and he will be absolutely fine. It's lovely to meet you, mate. See ya. Hello. Oh, a couple of cone shells right there. They're an ambush predator, so they bury themselves exactly like this. And they stick out this like big launcher that launches this harpoon. And the harpoon is covered in some of the most complex and gnarly venom in the world. This is it right here, guys. That is the cone shell, one of the most dangerous and deadly things in the ocean. Please do not handle them like this. I just want to show you guys. That's what they look like. I'm going to put him straight back. And I'm going to risk it. Out here, I'm afraid if I got injected by venom from these guys, there's a very high chance that I wouldn't make it. It's pretty rare for these guys to take a life. So they're not to be feared, but they are definitely to be respected. See you later, fellas. Enjoy. Just be super gentle with this. That's a dangerous rock right there. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed searching the tide pools with us. If you did, like and subscribe right now. You can support us by buying our merch, youngbloods.co. That's a bloody wrap, baby. Yo!